Smart Brakes! Smart Brakes! Smart Brakes! Smart Brakes! Smart Brakes! Captain Hope. Hey. Oh, hey. What happened? You're walking different. Your face is all red. And you look sad and angry all at the same time. I am sad and angry all at the same time. Oh. 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 When you hear what happened, you would be too. Hmm. I was at the skate park. And I went into my signature kickflip, but I forgot to bend my knees and then everything went wrong. And next thing I know, I'm on the ground and I hear laughing. Not one person even showed me a tiny bit of sympathy. Not one person asked if you were okay? Not one. No. Oh, here, sit down. Oh. Oh, I can tell you are not okay. I'm not. I mean, I would show sympathy if I saw someone fall off their skateboard. Well, that's because you treat people with sympathy. And I know if you were there, you would show me sympathy if you saw me falling and grabbing my ankle in pain. It's important to show sympathy. And there's many ways to show sympathy, like, sorry that happened, or, oh no, that's terrible, or even, let me help you. Yeah, that's way better than laughing at me. I just felt sad and mad and embarrassed. Well, if I'd have been there, I would have taken it to another level, to empathy. That's because you're such a kind person, Mr. Zoe. Empathy is when somebody understands exactly what you're going through because they felt something like it before. Wait, when have you ever hurt your ankle, Mr. Zoe? Oh, no, not my ankle. Remember at Camp Clovis when I twisted my knee, oh. square dancing? Oh, how could I ever forget? Oh, that hurt so bad. I could barely walk on it, and my pain level went all the way to 100. But what was worse was everyone laughing at me. That really made me feel bad. So I understand how you feel. Wow. You definitely have empathy, Mr. Zoe. I can tell you know exactly what I'm going through. <laughs> oh, oh, rest, rest, rest. Oh. Rest. Nice? Nice. Oh. How about I get a pillow to elevate your ankle? Oh. Comfy? Comfy. <laughs> nice. So nice. Feel good. Oh, very good. More? More. <laughs> happy? So happy. Now, did you know that if you sprain your ankle, you should rice? I have to eat rice? No. Rice. Rice means, well, if you just rest, ice, compress, and elevate, then soon you'll feel better. Oh, I get it. RICE is an acronym. Each letter stands for something else. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. Zoe. 
You really know how to show sympathy and empathy. <laughs> now, how about fixing me a snack? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is. I'll race you to our seats. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, oh. I'll race you to our seats. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna win. Oh, oh, oh. careful. Oh. Don't forget to elevate. Oh. Hello, Captain Hope. Hello, Mr. Zoe. Hey, look, it's our friend Brittany. Hey, Brittany. I brought you a present. <laughs> I'll put it by Pat. Oh, hello, Pat. Yum, look, friends, a grapefruit. Oh, did you know the grapefruit is said to be one of the seven wonders of Barbados? They are 92% water, giving it one of the highest water contents of any fruit. And in 1993, the red grapefruit became the official fruit of Texas. You should try one. They're delicious. Are you ready to learn? I'm so happy to be here. This is the best part of my day. Learning with you makes me happy. Can you tell that I'm happy? How? What does happy look like? I'm smiling. A smile is a good way to show that you're happy. I would like to explore five feelings with you. And the first one is happy. What does your face look like when you're happy? How can we show happy with our face? Maybe we smile, maybe our eyebrows go up, <laughs> my eyes feel really bright. On the count of three, let's make a face that shows happy. One, two, three, happy. <laughs> the second emotion that I would like to explore is sad. What does sad look like to you? How can we use our face to show sad? Maybe our shoulders go down. My face feels very heavy. Mm. On the count of three, let's show sad with our face. One, two, three, sad. Was your face sad? The third emotion I would like to explore is angry. What does our face look like when we're angry? It feels wrinkly. What does angry look like to you? Maybe our face is squished up like a prune. On the count of three, let's make a face that shows angry. One, two, three. Angry. The fourth feeling that I would like to explore is scared. What does your face look like when you're scared? How can we show scared with our face? My eyes feel really big. On the count of three, let's show a scared 
face. One, two, three, scared. Our fifth and final feeling is calm. What does our face look like when we're calm? Hmm. Oh, my face feels very relaxed. It feels very smooth. What does calm look like to you? On the count of three, let's make a calm face. One, two, three, calm. I notice I close my eyes when I make a calm face. Calm. Thank you for exploring emotions with your face. <gasps> now, let's see if we can show our emotions with our whole body. Let's start from the very first emotion. Happy. Happy will be right here. What does my whole body look like when I'm happy? <laughs> what does your body look like when you're happy? I'm jumping. Are you jumping? <laughs> Let's be happy with our bodies. Join me. <laughs> Stop. Emotion number two. Sad. How can I show sad with my whole body? What does your body look like when you're sad? Oh, it feels heavy. And my feet, they're dragging. Let's have a sad body together. It makes me sigh. Stop. Let's shake that out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Our third feeling. Angry. Can you have an angry body? Can you show angry with your whole body? I'm stomping. Are you stomping? My hands are fists. Join me. Angry. Stop. Oh, I need to shake that one out too. Our fourth feeling. Scared. My eyes got big again. How do I show scared with my whole body? What does your body do when you're scared? Oh, oh. I'm starting to shake. Is your body shaking? Let's have a scared body. Sometimes when I'm scared, my body goes completely still. Stop. Oh, do we need to shake that one out? I think we should. Shake it out. Last feeling. Calm, calm, deep breath, calm. What does our body look like when we're calm? Ooh, I'm starting to sway from side to side. My body feels relaxed. My mouth is smiling and my eyes are closed again. Let's have a calm body together. Let's be calm, tall trees, swaying in the wind. Are you a calm tree? There's even a pose called tree pose. Bring your hands together and bring them down. Take a look at my foot. 
Tree pose makes me feel calm. Thank you so much for exploring emotions with me. I want you to know that it's okay to feel all of your feelings. It's okay to feel happy. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to feel scared. And it's okay to feel calm. Sometimes my emotions feel really big inside of me. What can I do when my emotions feel really big inside? Well, sometimes when my emotions feel really big, I talk to my friends like Mr. Zoe and Captain Hope. Mr. Zoe, Captain Hope, what do you do when your emotions feel really big inside? Well, I go outside and exercise or ride my bike or even pull weeds in my garden. And I like to create things. I will draw or color or play the ukulele. When my emotions feel really big inside, I like to breathe. Hands on your heart, breathe in, and breathe out. Let's breathe together again. Breathe in, and breathe out. What an amazing class. Thank you so much. We want to share a hat with you to say thank you. Go ahead and pick whichever one you want. Wow, I get to choose a hat from the hat tree? <laughs> hmm, let's see. I think I'm going to choose this hat. <laughs> Ooh, my ears are warm. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ooh, warm ears in the fridge will be nice. Bye. <laughs>
Smart Breaks is a production of Hope Stone Incorporated. Funding for Smart Breaks was provided in part by the Keating Family Foundation and the Brown Foundation Incorporated. Thank you.